New update, Pink Sauce just officially failed, guys. Oh my god, here we go. It's by Sunny V2. Amazing, always. Um, <laughs> do you guys remember Pink Sauce? It was that crazy thing that was like selling like really crazy. And I think she actually went on Dr. Phil or somebody. And it was a uh, it was a big failure, apparently. But let's check it out. Yep. The pink sauce ain't made one sale this month. Not one single sale. Okay. This pink sauce has officially failed. In a series of update videos, she reveals her pitiful sales figures. They gonna send me a check for a Admit What is this? What is that? Jewelry? They gonna send me a check? Dude, what? What is that? She's clueless about the product. I don't know what's going on with the pink sauce. I don't know where the pink sauce at. Whilst being in denial, thinking it'll make a comeback. The pink sauce will soon be a globally distributed product. I don't know how it's gonna happen. The fact that she experienced any success now seems like a miracle, as by Chef P's second video, she was already facing problems. In its very first showcase, the sauce had a vibrant appearance, but in the TikTok that followed, the pink was slightly different. The color has changed so much. Two days later, it was back to a darker pink, but five days after this, it was lighter than ever before, creating instant suspicion amongst potential customers. Why does it keep... Yeah, but if it's changing color, it could be like the editing, right? I mean, it, it could be like the different... Like, if you adjust the contrast in saturation, obviously it would look different in post-processing. Changing colors or is that just video, something wrong? Whilst the source's consistency was also inconsistent. Oh. In some videos it was thick, sticking to the food like glue. Whilst in others it was watery, dripping off any food it was put on. The fact that the consistency has changed so much really concerns me. Although as shown in the very same comment, people were also incredibly curious. Why was it pink? How did she make it? Most importantly, what did the pink sauce taste like? Didn't it Chef have like crazy ingredients? Like didn't it have something like that was like plastic or some kind of crazy shit i mean to make it that pink it must it must have something crazy in it right guys <laughs> friends all seem to love it this is definitely a 10 out of 10 but she didn't describe the flavor building irresistible intrigue honestly it has its own taste if you want to taste it buy it it goes on sale tonight people had gotten to the point of demanding she sell the product publicly as chef p had held off for ages to ensure the sauce was perfect we are doing quality testing to ensure that we get the best quality out to you guys to have minimum mm -hmm. to no complaints in a different tiktok she included an inspirational soundbite stating the biggest thing you have to worry about is making sure your quality stays up creating expectations that the sauce would be incredible but as she announced her first drop of a hundred limited bottles the top comment hinted at the source's next problem uh oh yeah dude that thing is definitely not passing the u.s food and drug administration no way that thing's got a bunch of chemicals and crap in it probably and uh yeah didn't it obviously i mean didn't it, in the end didn't it taste like barbecue sauce or it tasted like ranch or it tasted like something that was already made like it wasn't very different from ranch if if i'm remembering correctly it's been a while since we had a pink sauce video <laughs> but yeah i'm pretty sure it tasted like ranch there was not much of a difference except for the color so it was like basically a copy right guys <laughs> yeah that's my thought Approved by US Food and Drug Administration? Well, to put it simply, no. In fact, Chef P didn't even understand what it was. What do you mean FDA approved? I don't sell medical product. The pink <laughs> What? Are you, you've gotta be fucking kidding me. I didn't, dude, that's really bad. <laughs> That's really bad. You don't even know what the FDA is and you're trying to sell this shit? That's very bad. You <laughs> Sauce don't contribute to your Oh my god, people are like what? It it's okay. Shit happens. This is the only de only the devil coming to you. You ain't afraid of jail, I see. <laughs> yeah. Health 
thinking the F in FDA stood for pharmaceutical. Oh my god, pharmaceuticals really PH. Out here buying and eating ping sauce from a woman who doesn't even know what the F in FDA stands for. To silence the backlash, she'd host a live stream titled The FDA is at my house. Uh oh. We are taking the precaution. Although people found this strange. Comments read that's not how the FDA works, as the FDA don't do house. Yeah, calls, what the fuck? Chef. You can actually tell, like, look at the video. We are taking the precaution. Although people found. That's literally me just doing this. We are taking the precautions. <laughs> she's just filming herself from a downward angle, like with her looking somewhere else, like she's talking to somebody. They don't do house calls. That's not how that works, like you said. This strange. <laughs> Comments read that's not how the FDA works, as the FDA don't do house calls, forcing <laughs> Chef P to admit she was lying. Turns yeah. out she'd been visited by Florida Health Services, which seemingly failed to make the product safer. The bottles had no nutritional info or list any of the ingredients, which Chef P still didn't disclose, even after being asked. I can't tell you the ingredients that I used to make it pink, but it's pink. <laughs> At a different time, she even lied about ingredients ingredients claiming it had no garlic the pink sauce contains zero raw garlic ingredient although in a video of her making <laughs> it you can see raw garlic what the f dude guys look at the olive oil in that is that even it's not even, is that even olive oil what is that in a video enhance that's olive oil that is so much olive oil. What the fuck? Are you trying to clog your arteries? And that's a lot of garlic. What are you talking about? There's no garlic. You can see raw garlic floating in the mix. People therefore stated, Okay, but for real, what herbs are in the pink sauce? Because like, I'll get some, but I don't want to have an allergic reaction. No yeah. ingredients listed? Sounds like a lawsuit waiting to happen if someone has an allergic reaction, forcing Chef P to reluctantly oblige. I've been seeing all the shady comments. There will be nutrition facts. Calm down. No, you kind of literally have to tell us- No, you have to- to tell them <laughs> there is no reluctant see there's no reluctancy guys you have to disclose the nutritional values as well as the ingredients used in your product or you cannot sell it it's not going to be fda approved how you made it pink to which chef p responded i don't have to do anything yes of you course, do my package will have nutrition facts this was confirmed as she sent her first shipment but the top comment predicted there'd be <coughs> shipping problems hey i deliver for usps and we kind of just shove packages into the mailbox or lock boxes these things are probably gonna overheat and curdle or explode right? which turned out to be perfectly accurate oh my god, oh my god. Look, look at this it don't even say pink sauce on this Bitch. The sources had been sent in the middle of summer, and after taking two and a half weeks to arrive, many had fully exploded. What the is, fuck? No, no ma'am, we're not trying this. Look at this. It stinks. The bottles that didn't explode were still extremely bloated. I'm just a little worried about it being swollen, and I don't know if this is considered swollen or not. In which case, the pink sauce became completely Ew. It was because the product... Ew, look at that. Swollen or not. In which case, the pink sauce became completely... Oh my god. God, what the that's not pink that's like very not pink it's like pale it's like pale it's like skin color ew that is disgusting rotten it was because the product contained milk and honey which grew so much bacteria it expanded the bottle so no doubt by the time you oh received we got charlie sauce, the milk is already spoiled so you're basically just buying poison a food safety expert stated in some cases raw honey can cause botulism an extreme case of food poisoning so it's no surprise that some people are reporting that they got violently ill after eating the pink sauce one person claimed it sent her to hospital y'all really need to stop by these pink sauce from that girl on TikTok. Look where yeah. I ended up. Explaining the pink sauce gave her real bad food poisoning. It seems to be the oil that she put on that sauce didn't sit well on me, whilst a Reddit user posted a similar story. My 13-year-old daughter bought a bottle of pink sauce online without my knowledge and is now in hospital. I can't even think so. Bro, you gotta really you gotta really keep your kids in check. You got 13 year old buying shit without your permission you gotta without your knowledge you gotta you gotta 
You gotta do something about that. <laughs> straight. Chef Pei responded by claiming that these weren't real. People making fake reports saying that they were getting sick from the pink sauce. However, they never even made a pink sauce purchase. But with incorrectly listed ingredients, this certainly could have... Wait, 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 whoa, 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 let's see what we got in here. ...listed ingredients, this certainly... One teaspoon. In one teaspoon, guys, we have 90 calories. One gram of fat. Wait, what? It says one gram of fat, but saturated fat, trans fat, this one, <laughs> mono, this one too, has zero gram. That doesn't add up to one. What the fuck? Cholesterol, zero. I find that hard to believe. Sodium, 60 milligrams? That's That seems pretty low for a sauce. Total carbohydrates, 3 grams. Dietary fiber, sugars, 11 grams of sugar in one teaspoon or tablespoon? Protein, okay. Certainly could have happened. For example, the bottle's label misspelled vinegar as vinegar, which could Oh my god. I, yeah, I guess, I don't think Sonny even saw the fat thing, but... Yeah, ingredients, we got water, sunflower, seed, oil, raw honey, distilled vinegar. <laughs> uh, yeah, not vinegar. <laughs> Garlic, pitaya, what is pitaya? Pink Himalayan sea salt, less than 2% of dried spices, lemon juice, milk, citric acid. Contains sunflower, sunflower seed oil, milk, may contain soy and eggs, flavor, uh, crazy ink. Okay. Well, yeah, it's spelled incorrectly, so this is very unprofessional. Could have just as easily been a misspelling of ginger. Uh, Another yeah. person noticed her using a white mayo-like substance, which also wasn't listed. She is using something that's not here to give it that particular color and consistency. But the problems it's with the label only kept on going. There is nothing in the label about refrigeration, nor is there an expiration date on the label. In addition to no expiry or refrigeration <laughs> warning, the bottle incorrectly stated it had 444 servings, which at 14.4 grams per serving meant the bottle should have weighed 6.4 kilos oh my god pounds to add a cherry on top of the cake the label didn't fit the bottle but surely chef p was on standby to fix potential problems well yeah instead, surely she was partying on a boat <laughs> blaming the customer <laughs> oh my god dude well instead she was i'm from miami baby <laughs> Dude, she's just chilling, bro. She's she's doing this. She's having this party at the expense of people buying the pink sauce and getting food poisoning from it. Literally buying poison. Partying on a boat, blaming the customers for the product shortcomings. You guys are judging a prototype. A prototype is when a product is not an official product. However, a lawyer named allegedly Stephanie explained this wasn't even legal. You cannot have a prototype of food, ma'am. When it is food, it has to be perfect. Yeah. As in at least edible, at least not making people sick. Leading Chef P to apologize. My apologies. I'm only human. I'm not perfect. And remove the source from sale until she can <laughs> fix its problems. In the meantime, Funds people up. began to joke. It's all fun and games till you see her pink sauce in the store. Although nobody expected this would actually happen until it was announced you could buy the sauce in Walmart. Oh my god. Chef P stated, I'm ready for chapter two. Having How did she get this deal with Walmart, guys? Like what? With all the problems, you would think that Walmart would be smarter than this and not do a deal with her. Or I don't know how they do I don't know how they get stuff in Walmart. Mr. Beast has done it with feastables and stuff. How does one get a product uh, in a Walmart shelf? I mean, you ha there has to be some kind of contract, right? How did she even pass this contract? Partner with a company called Dave's Gourmet, uh, who used their expertise to ensure the product wouldn't explode. Thank you so much, Dave's Gourmet. I'm so excited about the growth and scaling of the sauce. With articles such as how the pink sauce chef survived her downfall and comments like, oh, I'm so happy for her. They were bashing her so much, it seemed Chef P had fixed her reputation. She reassured the audience, we will not let you down. And with the sauce in over 4,000 stores, Rolling Stone literally 
wrote, it's hard to see what would stop her at this point. <laughs> the taste of that victory must be sweet. Although <laughs> no pun intended. 16 days later, people already found the bottles being taken off shelves. Uh -oh. People have started to post videos showing that the pink sauce is going on clearance. Which, by the way, look at this color and look at the color that the pink sauce lady showed. That is not pink. As mentioned, mm, the yeah, color had also that's changed yellow. dramatically. In multiple different TikToks, the contents turned a yellowish brown. In reality, it's like the same color as cane sauce. Possibly informing another massive price drop. It's funny because <laughs> most of the pink sauce is on the clearance section in Walmart for 50 cents, but somehow the bottles still fell further. So a video just went viral showing the pink sauce on clearance at Walmart for just 25 cents a bottle. <laughs> you can buy a gumball for that price. I would rather take the gumball than the pink sauce. I mean, fuck it. Chef Peace comments filled with people calling her a failure, yet she'd respond by stating when they say you fell off, but Pink Sauce just sold 200,000 bottles. People therefore thought she was doing extremely well, although it turns out the opposite was true. I almost got evicted from my home. I had to go get $20 from my mama. Pink Sauce creator claims she's broke due to a faulty deal. I don't even have enough money to buy my kids food. Mm -hmm. The article explained Chef P had opened a GoFundMe trying to raise $100,000 as right now I don't even have enough money to buy my kids food on my own. My mum is on disability and has been giving us $20 just to get by on a daily basis. This was confirmed by a video showing her eviction notice, claiming Dave's Gourmet had stolen her recipe and ruined the product Ooh. by changing its color. Dave's Gourmet should know why the sauce turned yellow when it hit the shelves. She further added they lied to me. They are not paying me and are not being transparent about records. I have been silenced and financially sabotaged. They are refusing to pay me the royalty that is owed to me. These people defrauded me, so I would have to sue them for fraud. Although it turns out this was okay. just another lie. Because what? Dave Gourmet responded, explaining they'd paid her 120 grand, which Chef P had wasted on luxury spending. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. That, that, <laughs> that was the picture of her partying in the other, the other section of the video, right? She, okay. We, okay, we, I understand now. We understand why she was able to do that. It's because she took 120,000 smackaroonies from this, from this company. And just look at this. What is she eating? That further explained that she'd requested over $10,000 in marketing expenses Damn. to throw herself a birthday party to maybe be featured on TikTok. She also requested that they pay for her dress $800 and shoes $600 plus. What the? Are you telling me a full outfit is going to cost you $1,400? Bro, just get the value pack at Walmart. White shirts. Get the value pack at Walmart for 10 bucks. Get like 50 of them. Chef Pay also attempted to submit business expense reports for personal expenses, like buying four pairs of sneakers or expensing her grocery bills. <laughs> oh but when Dave's Gourmet would not approve these expenses, she got upset and never collaborated with them since. Chef Pay instead took her GoFundMe earnings and relaunched the pink sauce in a new powder format, which supposedly somehow completely sold out. People joked that she probably only had 10 in stock, to which Chef P angrily responded, Thanks for keeping me on the algorithm with your meaningless comment. See, this is the first mistake she made right there. She's responding to the hate like that. She's she's baiting. She's being baited into the trap. You can't respond, man. You just got to keep going. And if she did only have 10 in stock, August the Duck bought 40%. There are <laughs> four total sauces, two blue sauces, two pink sauces, exposing the product as extremely expensive. Each one of these packets, one single serving, $20 a piece. I spent 80 fucking dollars on what, what you're looking at right here. He then had to spend the a fuck? further $70. We need four different ingredients to make this sauce. About $150 is how much I've spent for what he discovered was a terrible flavor. I'm sorry, Chef Pie, but uh, no, they're both they're both definitely gross. It, it does not taste oh, like ranch. Jesus. It tastes far worse than ranch. Likely contributing to Chef P's current position. Literally zero sales. As was shown in the opening clip. The pink sauce ain't made one sale. 
this month. Not one single sale. And as of just the previous week, the Pink Sauce website is now fully deleted. Ooh. On top of this, Chef P's company Flavor Crazy was previously listed as active, but after recently checking the very same page, it now rather says inactive. <laughs> She'd post on nice. her Instagram, normalized being out of the loop. Like, what is even going on, LOL? Likely because she doesn't even know where to buy the original Pink Sauce. I haven't seen nothing at no Walmart or no other store. It's and not it's in Walmart. Business. It's my product and I don't even know where it's at. And only that she's receiving basically zero royalties. They gonna send me a check for $121. Lord Jesus, take the wheel. $121 is too generous. Yeah, right. But Chef P is still convinced she has a billion dollar business, which is a pretty crazy value for a product that's only sold a second. Wait, what? Dollars is too generous, but Chef P is still convinced she has a billion dollar business. I didn't even I didn't even catch that. She thinks she has a billion dollar business? She's out of her fucking mind. Which is a pretty crazy value for a product that's only sold secondhand on eBay. Wow. Guys, dude, <laughs> what do you guys think of that? That was insane, man. The pink sauce video. Dude, I haven't seen like a thing about the pink sauce since like Moist Critical did a uh, bit on it. Or uh, I think she was on Dr. Phil as well, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, uh, lesson lesson learned. Moral of the story is, yeah, if you're going to put a product out, you need to go through the right hoops, okay? You need to get it FDA approved. You need to disclose all the nutritional facts and ingredients. Don't make spelling errors either, okay? And uh, you need to make sure everything's accurate before you start putting it on shelves. And I don't know who the fuck that, I don't know who the fuck at Walmart thought that was a good idea to put a pink sauce on their shelves, but that was a very bad idea. They should not have done that. Anyway, guys, great video from Sunny V2 again. Thank you guys for watching. Um, yeah, make sure to go subscribe to Sunny V2. I'm already subscribed. Uh, give him a like. That was a great video. Always, he always makes banger videos. Go show us, go show him some support. Uh, yeah, new update, Pink Sauce just officially failed by Sunny V2. Crazy video, guys.